to watch the full lecture of all subjects kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon because whenever i post the new videos you will get the immediate notifications hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in my part 1 video i had discussed about the introduction part of income tax chapter but in this particular part i'll be discussing about the canons of taxation now what is a canon you may ask me what is a canon canon are the principles what are the principles principles can be called as a uh, guidelines means using which you will know what to do when to do and how to do guidelines is a path if selected you can achieve your goals very easily similarly this canons can be also called as principles of taxation so while implying a tax or while calculating a tax or while collecting the tax from different person what are the guidelines you need to follow that is given in this canons these canons are suggested by the adam smith this is a very important question which may be asked for four marks in section b it might be asked so please pay your attention now there are totally seven canons given suggested by adam smith first one is canon of equality canon of certainty canon of convenience canon of economy canon of simplicity canon of coordination canon of flexibility these are the seven uh, different canons given by the uh, adam smith let us discuss about each canon in depth first one is canon of equality so this canon of equality the main concept which they have used in this canon of equality is justice and equity justice and equity now the amount of tax to be paid should be in proportion to the respective ability of a tax payer now let us take a example to understand for example now there is a person mr a mr b and mr c a is earning a annum annual income of 5 lakh b is earning an annual income of 3 lakh and c is earning an annual income of 2 lakh now let me think that if for all the people staying in india if their income tax was 10% only b irrespective of how much ever income they have earned or their stay income earn madly but our tax 10% percent ta ittididre what would have happened so on this 10% percent means a's income tax would be 50000 b's income tax would be 30000 and c's income tax would be 20000 now there is an unfair practice so if same percent of tax was levied for all kind of income then it will be an unfair now the person who is earning 5 lakh also pays 10% the person earning 3 lakh also is paying 10% and the person earning 2 lakh is also paying 10% it is unfair there is no concept of equality so what is that canon of taxation in which the canon of equality says the tax paid tax to be paid whatever the amount of tax the person has to pay it should be in proportion to the respective ability of a tax payer means it should be based on the income whatever he has earned it should be based on the income so different slabs rate so different tax slab rates have been in included so it will be every year it will change this tax rate so based on the particular income of a person in which particular slab it will fall that particular rate of income tax he need to pay so this includes the principle of justice and equity then the justice and equity can be achieved this is the canon of equality second one is canon of certainty now the time the manner should be certain means when he has to pay and in which way he has to pay now for example you don't clearly tell to your tax payers which is the last date so now sorry which is the last date now if a person don't know which is the last day for example when he don't know which is the last day of paying the tax then 
he may just think that still he has more time to pay the tax then he may forget to pay the tax so in order to avoid this the time and the manner should be certain to the taxpayer he should be clearly told in which is the last day to pay the tax and whether he need to pay the tax online or offline so if by chance let us take an example here what if the time and manner is not known for the person now let me think that it is first of jan 2023 okay now uh, this is this example i'm uh, uh, giving you okay or else let us take first april okay now we are in uh, let us think that 31st july okay we are in 31st july now 31st july is the last day to pay the tax so 31st july last day and the now the person has to pay 50% tax this is a tax which he need to pay because he has earned an income of so much that he need to pay 50,000 as a tax now if a person knows that he need to pay the tax before or on 31st July he will keep this 50,000 very safe so that he will not spend this 50,000 amount so when the person knows the time and manner he can keep safeguard of the amount which he need to pay as a tax Iga on the last date yavaga tax cut pay kona thoni gottidre Iga for example ee example ee 50,000 tax na a person cut pay kagatte on the yavad cut pay kona gottila andre avane nan kona thane inno jasti time ide an komitu a 50,000 to spend maana kokta yath thane adu maad baaddu so ad aag baaddu an thedudre the person can manage his income and expenditure then he will know that what amount he need to spend so he may keep the amount of tax what he need to pay very safely and remaining amount he can spend this is the principle of certainty the main concept here is the time and manner should be uh, made available for the taxpayer and it should be certainly told for the taxpayer this is canon of certainty next is canon of convenience the time and manner should be convenient this is also similar to the previous canon the there's one concept called as p a y e means pay as you earn so we all know that the income tax of an individual he will earn the income in the previous year and for the same he will pay tax in the assessment year so this method of collecting personal taxation under which an employer deducts tax on behalf of employees. Now, let's see here. If you are working in an organization, there they will pay you a salary. So, what happened before paying the salary? Now, here we have the employer. We are having employer and here we are having employee now the employer pays the salary to the employee we all know that before paying the salary he need to deduct tds what is this tds tds is nothing but tax deducted at source means before at source source means what source is a place here where the income is earned by the employee so before even giving the salary to the employee the employer deducts tax on behalf of employee this is the main point here the employer deducts tax on behalf of employees then whatever the tedious amount the employer has collected that he will pay to the finance department or the income tax department finance department the same amount will be remitted by the employer so before even paying the salary to the employee it is his duty to deduct the tax and pay the remaining amount to the employer employee so this is a so then the employee will have certain convenient he'll be convenient so this principle says that before even paying the salary or the remuneration to the employee the employer deducts the tax on behalf of employee and later on the same tax whatever he has deducted it will be remitted to the finance department that is what this particular canon of 
convenience mean. Hope you understood this very well. Let us go to the next canon. That is canon of economy. So, here tax should be economical. What does it mean economical? It should be uh, cost worthy. We can say that it is. it should be cost worthy. It should not be too high. The cost or the or the amount of tax that is levied on the person it should not be too high it should be economical means it should be somewhat like the uh, the taxpayer should not feel that it is a huge amount he is paying he should feel that okay whatever i am paying certain amount of tax is worthy for the income whatever I, whichever i have earned so the taxes should be levied in such a way as to minimize the cost of collection in terms of revenues collected. So, for both two parties are there. One is tax collector and second one is taxpayer. So, for this both the parties, the cost should be economical. Both should not feel it's a burden to collect the tax. At the same time, the taxpayer should not feel that it's a huge burden for him to pay the tax. This is all about the canon of economy. So, hope you have understood about this canon very well. Now, let us move on to the next canon. It is canon of simplicity. Calculation of taxable income and tax liability. I have discussed in my part 1 video what is taxable income and what is tax liability. So, I will be telling it once again. Now, for example, a person is earning an income of 5 lakh in that he is having 10,000 deductions you think. So, the remaining will be 4,90,000. This 4,90,000 is his taxable income. So, 4,90,000 is his taxable income. Now, the tax will be levied on this 4,90,000. Let us think that 10% is the tax rate. So, he need to pay 49,000 as tax. This is known as tax liability. So, you got to know what is taxable income and what is tax liability. So, calculation of this taxable income and sorry, tax liability should be simple, means it should not be too much complicated, then the person will not understand how to pay the tax only. So, this should be very simple. Taxpayer should clearly understand it. So, whatever the calculation they have done in uh, like calculating the taxable income it should be very simple that the taxpayer should be understand it very clearly he should not be like he don't know how much he is paying for example a person is paying 49,000 tax means he should know that yes 49,000 is my actual tax liability he should not have a blank mind stating that I don't know how I paid but I paid 49,000 that should not be the scenario he should clearly understand how much he is paying the tax and why he is paying the tax. So, this is all about the canon of simplicity which states that the calculation of taxable income as well as the taxable liability should be as simple as that the taxpayer, every taxpayer clearly understands that. This is all about the canon of simplicity. Now, let us move on to the next canon. This canon of coordination. Now, what happens is the state government will levy some taxes, then central government will levy some taxes. So, there should be coordination, there should be coordination between the central government as well as state government so that it should not be a duality of taxes. You know what is duality of taxes? Duality of taxes means the same tax is levied twice. So, that should be prevented. So, there should be a coordination between various taxes imposed by central government, state government and even the local bodies. When there is a coordination between all these things, so the overlapping of taxes or the duality of taxes can be prevented. So, this prevents the overlapping of taxes. So, hope you have understood about this canon of coordination. Next one is canon of flexibility. What is flexibility? Flexibility is nothing but we can simply for our memory purpose we can think it as subject to change. Now the tax rate. So whatever the tax rate is there that should be changed accordingly. Changed accordingly or changed frequently. 
So, as per the conditions of the economy, as per the changing environment of the economy, the tax structure should be revised at the right time. This is very important. At the right time, we should not change the tax rate early also and should not uh, change the tax rate very late also. At the right time, right time. So, when the tax are revised at the right time, then we can meet the changing needs of economy. If the same old tax structure is been carried out from 10 to 12 years, if you think, then it won't be, the country will not get developed. So, according to the economic conditions or according to the changing needs of the economy, the tax rates should be changed in the country. This is all about the canons of taxation. Hope you have understood this video very well. If you have understood, please put in the comment box that you have understood. At the same time, if you have any doubt, please put in the comment box so that we can try to respond to your doubts as soon as possible. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon button because as in how I post the new lecture videos, you will get the immediate notification of all my new lecture. Thank you for watching the video. I will come back with the next video. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.